Earth is surrounded by a thin layer of air, and it's thinner in some places than in others. Please, take a look at this. It's our Earth surface sloshing atmosphere big plastic model of science. Now let's say that this little city, this little mountain, and this little farm are all places on the Earth's surface. And this layer of water is like the Earth's atmosphere. Now right now, the atmosphere is even, and the pressure over the city is the same as the pressure over the farm. We can see it on these gauges, on these gauges. Now the heat of the sun and the spin of the Earth make the atmosphere move, like this. It sloshes. So now there's more atmosphere over the city than over the farm. And the pressure on this gauge is higher than the pressure on this gauge. Now let's say the atmosphere sloshes back. Now there's more atmosphere above the farm than above the city. And the pressure on this gauge is higher than the pressure on this gauge. See, the gauges are measuring the amount of air over the land. The gauges are measuring the amount of air above them. Now here's how we measure atmospheric pressure in the real atmosphere. This is a barometer. Oh. Now, barrows from an old Greek word that means weight. So it's measuring the weight of air pressing down on it. Now, that's a vacuum pump. When I turn it on, it pulls some of the air out of this chamber. So there's less air weighing down on the barometer, and sure enough, the pressure is lower. So what does this have to do with storms? Well, when the barometric pressure is high, the invisible water vapor gas stays a gas. But when the barometric pressure is low, invisible water vapor gas turns into a liquid, clouds. So when the pressure is high, yippee! We're all gonna stay dry. But when the pressure is low, whoa, it's gonna blow. There's a storm coming. <laughs>